Jeff Keen here. I just got back from a six day trip to Puerto Rico. Really pretty down there. Did some scuba diving. Check out my video here. I saw seahorses and a giant stingray. Now I wanna talk about how much vampire drain I experienced while I had my Tesla Model 3 parked at the airport for six nights. And I'm gonna show you some of the settings that you can apply to minimize that vampire drain when you leave your Tesla. Okay, so the night before the trip, I charged up to 100%. And by the time I got to the airport in the morning, I was at 82%. It was about 40 miles. Before I left, I turned sentry mode off. This will eat up about 6% a day. It's averaging only about 40 degrees in Connecticut right now, but I also turned cabin overheat protection off. So after a couple days, I wanted to check in on him. So I went back into the app and I re-enabled sentry mode and did a quick check around on the cameras. This probably cost me a couple percent. The best thing is to not open the app when you're leaving the car. You can do to reduce vampire drain is to disable all mobile access. This will disable the app access to the vehicle as well as any APIs that you have that you're using, which I do have a couple that I have enabled. The app will still unlock the car when you return. So when I returned, I had 65%. I used about 16% of the battery or about 2.6% a day. So if you get to the airport with 80% battery, you can comfortably sit for about two weeks. Any more than that, I'd probably just take an Uber and leave the car at home plugged in with the battery charge set to 50%. The high voltage battery goes below 20%, it'll go into a low consumption mode, but if it ever goes to zero, you're gonna need to open the funk with a jump pack and then jump start the 12 volt battery just like you would a regular fossil car. Let's hope this never happens to you. There you go, remember to like and subscribe for more videos about Tesla Rivian Wi-Fi and tech products.